Welcome, and for now I'm using QBar King Kong Mini 2, and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. So to get started you want to pull down your notification panel, expand it and look for the hotspot toggle, which looks like it's not in here by default, so I'm gonna tap on a pencil right here and find it beneath, there we go, from the toggles that are turned off. So once you find it you want to grab it, drag it over to the top, drop it and you can now go back and you should be able to find it in here. So once you have the toggle, you want to hold it, this will take you to the settings of it and the reason why I want you to hold it, when you're doing this the first time around, uh, things like password for your hotspot is randomly generated so you have no way of knowing what it is. So let's start off by selecting Wi-Fi hotspot right here, tapping on the password and there we go, there's the random one. So I do recommend you to remove this one because it's just garbage and set your own. That can be letters, numbers, uh, whatever you want. It needs to have at least eight characters in length. There we go. At which point you will be able to save it. Now additionally we can also change the hotspot name. Uh, by default as you can see it is a King Kong Mini 2, just the name of the device. Security, keep it as it is otherwise anybody can connect to it. And then under advanced we have turn off hotspot automatically also recommend you to keep that, uh, assuming you don't forget about turning off your hotspot. I do forget about it, so this helps a lot, because when you're not using your hotspot, it will start a countdown, and after 5 or 10 minutes, it automatically shuts off hotspot. So it will preserve your battery, because hotspot does use more battery. And lastly, we have the AP band, and we have a choice between 2.4 and 5 GHz one. So if you're not exactly sure which one your device that will be connecting, to this hotspot with, uh, with what it supports. I can set it up to be five gigahertz and if you simply don't see the hotspot at all, it means that it doesn't support it. And all you need to do is go back to the settings, change it back to 2.4. But generally, five gigahertz will be faster and more stable of a connection. So I do advise you to at least check it out if the device that you're trying to use for this supports it or not. Once you went through all the settings, you can leave this page. And whenever you want to use your hotspot, simply find the toggle, tap on it, and there we go. It is now enabled and you can connect to your hotspot. And like I mentioned before, once you're done with it, you can either turn it off, or if you kept that toggle on for auto turn turn on, not on, but turn off automatically, and then just let it run and it will turn off on its own when it reaches its timer. So anyway. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.